and it's very important to note that about a f about 15 million of our citizens have been directly involved in the participation of some g20 event or the other across our country so in that organizational endeavor we've had guidance from the prime minister himself from cabinet ministers there is a coordination committee which has been set up under the principal secretary to the prime minister which includes the nsa which includes cabinet secretary senior secretaries sherpa and all of us here and this committee has been meeting regularly. It's met uh, at least nine times formally, but many times informally, and has provided extensive guidance on every aspect and over overseen every aspect of the presidency's organization and management. So I think that was important. Now, on the summit itself, of course, uh, Foreign Secretary and Sherpa will take you through the program elements, but it's important for you to know what else is there and what are the activities and exhibitions and other events which are within the Bharat Mandapam, within the G20 uh, summit complex. Of course, uh, the media center is one that you have seen. Both halls, four and five, have been uh, earmarked for the media center. Uh, we expect to host between two and 3,000 international and domestic media here. Uh, it will be a state-of-the-art media center with over 1,300 workstations, high-speed internet, and uh, additional secretary XP would have communicated to you the other aspects of this media center. There is a emphasis on uh, the cultural aspects of our presidency as well. Uh, there is a, a very unique exhibition uh, which is called the Cultural Corridor, which will be uh, on display at the uh, convention center. Uh, this uh, involves the display of uh, cultural artifacts and objects from different countries both uh, tangible and intangible heritage, but also natural heritage. Uh, so this has some very, very interesting uh, exhibits, which uh, the details of which will be available with you. Um, we also have an immersive display, which has, again, uh, some of the best illustrations of every country that is a part of our G20 presidency. And uh, all of this, again, is at the convention center. There's a democracy cube, which is also there. And what we will certainly do is that we'll make this available, uh, we'll make this open to the media and the public after we finish uh, the immediate summit. Uh, and this would be a very interesting exhibition to see. Besides that, we have the Mother of Democracy exhibition. Uh, India is the largest democracy, vibrant democracy over the ages, has arranged uh, an exhibition which would be uh, essentially narrating the 7,000 year tradition of democracy in our country from the ancient to the modern. Uh, there will be 26 interactive panels uh, which would be available in uh, all of the G20 languages. There are apparently 16 languages in which this will be available. Uh, there is also uh, a bronze replica of a girl from the Sindhu Saraswati era, uh, you know, 2,500 to 3,500 years before. And this uh, is a very unique uh, part of the exhibition at the center of the exhibition. And there will also be uh, someone who will greet everybody. It's, it's artificial intelligence driven, so it's a technology oriented uh, uh, um, platform. And, and of course, uh, the person who will greet will also provide an introduction to India's age old democratic, democratic traditions in their respective languages. You uh, are also aware that we will have, at the time of the, of the dinner that will be hosted tomorrow by our president, uh, there will be uh, a musical ensemble which will play in the back, background. Uh, this, of course, will represent, again, musicians from all, all parts of our country, but it will also include musical traditions of every nature, whether it's Hindustani, Carnatic, folk, um, bhajans, every aspect of music in our country will be covered by these 77 musicians, who would also include young students, um, uh, people who um, have uh, some disabilities, but also people who are uh, from different walks of life across our country. They will also be displaying some very rare instruments, musical instruments, which are hardly ever seen or played in our country, but this is something that is an opportunity for us to see so many rare instruments coming together in this particular area. Now, uh, there will be a strong emphasis on technology, uh, especially technology that is uh, linked to public, uh, uh, digital public infrastructure. 
and in that context uh, we will have a few exhibitions at the media center if you enter the foyer of the media center you will see uh, a display by our uh, ministry of information technology which is basically a digital india experience zone which will have the display of all of the mobile apps and the platforms under which we have arranged to deliver development uh, to uh, the grassroots levels in india right from aadhar to upi and this entire india stack will be available